Hello Geminis! So this is your official monthly reading for December. I'm going to have different categories um, in this um, reading. I'm going to timestamp it down below. It's going to be starting off with the general, then love. After that it's going to be career finance um, and work. And then the last part of the reading is going to be family and friends. Okay, so let's start with the general messages. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. Okay. <laughs> universe, give me three more cards. What messages do you have for Gemini's? Four. This is an interesting combination. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes tarot be making people laugh. Okay. Um, so this, even though there's not tarot, there's oracles, but so there's prostitute there's mentor there's Zan Juan thief and advocate okay so this is what I'm getting I feel like somebody's wanting you to do something that you shouldn't be doing okay they want you to be their partner in crime um also what I'm getting with this is like just be careful of like who you are connecting with probably this person is like promising a lot and they can keep their promises or they're just trying to scam <laughs> okay let me see what else I'm getting because this message the messages here are funny okay Let's look at another spread. Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. What messages, universe, what messages do you have for Gemini for December 2021? Okay, so we have guilt, peace, um, love. Okay, universe, give me one more card and balance yeah okay i feel like someone that you know you have like you have love for this person this could be a family this could be a friend this could be even a romantic lover you have love for this person but this person wants you to do something that's not like that's not right with you like um so this could be something that you shouldn't dare to do or this could just be like for example they want you to help them out, even though, like, you got other things that you want to do with your money. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Um, so, I feel like if it's resonating, um, the universe just wants you to do things for, like, just do stuff when you genuinely want to do it. Okay, don't feel like you are forced to do something. Okay, um, let's just say you want to save rather than to help this person out. Just explain that to them, like, you have something that you want to save up for. You know, be very blunt, honest. Geminis are pretty much um, blunt people. So just just be honest with them, okay? So you don't have this, like, heavy energy, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Some of you guys also feel like this could be, like, someone asking you to borrow money and you feel like they're not going to pay you back. You know, just have that communication. Say, like, you don't want it to borrow, not want to give them money because, you know, you have other things to do with it, okay? So let's look at love. Universe, give me a four card spread. What's going to happen in Gemini Love Life for December? There's codependency, there's deception, express your love, and there is heart to heart conversation. This could be the one. Okay, so yeah, it could be a romantic lover trying to ask you to do something or to help them out. Okay, but you feel like they don't have to intentions with it. Or again, you got other things to do with that. Other things to do with your money, your time, your energy. Okay, let's see what else we're getting. Universe, give me a four card spread. Set and wealth. Yeah, this is someone who is kind of like a user. I do see that. Mature man. Okay, marriage in reverse. And unexpected income. All right, honor. Yeah, they probably want you to like invest in something but you you feel like you're not going to get your money back right away or you may feel like they tr even tried to scam you okay so again i feel like what you're trying to say is just speak directly to them okay if they have a problem with it it just show you like it just confirming um their intentions basically okay so that's what i'm seeing it's being very specific it's with money and love here okay let's look at the tarot let's see if it's picking up on a different message
Okay, so universe, give me a five card spread. What's going to happen in Gemini's love life for December 2021? Strength in the verse. Universe, give me four more cards. What's going to happen in Gemini's love life? Ace of Swords. Universe, give me three more cards. What's going to happen in Gemini love life? Sun in reverse. Universe, give me one more card. Give me two more cards. Okay, universe, give me one more card. Um, strength, I mean, Knight of Swords in reverse, Five Pentacles in reverse, Justice. Hmm. Probably this already happened. Probably you did give someone money. Um, and I feel like they're finally going to give you the money. Okay. Some of you guys actually file a lawsuit. Okay. And is, is already have a judgment. And I feel like they, they have to give it now. So they will give it to you soon. Now with love, I see some truth come out about somebody that you was dating. Um, and it's like, yeah, it, it's like them not trying to admit the truth. It's like they're so denying the truth, okay? But the truth came out about this person. I feel like it's more about you. Once you got this truth out, okay? Once you found this truth, I mean, you move on, okay? Give you the clarity to move on. Let's see what this is about. Universe, clarify the Ace of Swords. Universe, clarify the Ace of Swords. Universe, clarify the Ace of Swords. Eight of Wands. Ten of Swords in a verse. So, with the Ace of Swords, Ten of Swords in a verse, and Eight of Wands. Um, I feel like, yeah, something came out about this person of what they did in the past. I don't feel like this is recently, like they did this recently. I feel like something that they did um, a while ago is resurfacing back and I feel like it's helping you to move forward. So this could be like um, someone that you separated from. OK, but some more truth is coming out about this person, but it's helping you to move forward, like help, helping you to have a full closure. OK, that's what I'm seeing. Universe, clap for the sun in reverse. 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 Um, Queen of Cups and Ace of Wands in reverse. Ace of Cups, okay? So, yeah. So, with the Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands in reverse. I feel like, yeah, it's like you dodging a bullet. I feel like some truth came out about somebody. Probably, wow, probably this is someone who scammed you and they're finally getting caught. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Or you just realizing you dodge a bullet when it comes to someone that you dated before. Universe, clarify the Eight of Swords in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse and the Moon in reverse. Yeah, some secret coming out and you dodge a bullet basically. Okay. You're going to say, wow, I'm so happy that I didn't spend more time um, trying to be in that connection with that person. Yeah, so I feel like they're going through something legally. Universe, clarify the strength in reverse. Universe, clarify the strength in reverse. Universe, clarify the strength in reverse. Five of wands. Universe, clarify five of wands. Will fortune. Yeah, they're getting some karma. Okay. Universe, clarify the chariot. Four of wands. Some of you guys are in a much better relationship. Okay, page of cups in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're just going, it's like you're not searching for this information per se. It's just, this information just come out. You probably will just, you know, watching the news or it could be that dramatic. Like you're just watching the news and you saw this person's involvement to some mess. Okay, that's not going to be for everybody. But it's just like, you just heard about this person is in, um, they got some form of karma or they got in trouble or something like that. Okay. Um, and I feel like a lot of you guys are going to feel relieved that you didn't deal with this person longer than, um, longer than you did. Okay. Cause I feel like they was involved in some mess. Okay. So the sign, I got a lot of Leo could be a Leo here, could be a fellow Gemini too, Aquarius or a Libra. Okay. Could be Pisces cancer too. Let's see what else I'm getting. Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Gemini? Okay, so there's harmony, um, obstacle, obstacles and challenges, new beginnings, the full 
Universe, give me one more card. There's a truth in Ace of Pentacles. Jenna energy is emotional withdrawal. Okay. So, yeah, I don't feel like you guys was really focused on this um, this person or whatever truth that came out. It just come your way. And I feel like it's they're just karma. Like the universe wants you to see how this person got karma back. Okay. And again, it's more helping you to move forward and making you even making you feel more assured that you made the right decision, okay, with that truth and the Ace of Pentacles being there too. Okay, let's see what else I'm getting. Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Gemini? Okay, so there is communicate clearly. Okay, then there's recovery, main, remain positive. Okay, and then there's success and choosing choose a new direction. Gen energy, look for a sign, okay? So yeah, that's going to be the sign. I feel like you made the right decision, right choice of separating yourself from them, okay? And things are looking way much better for you, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Let's look at the oracles and then I'm going to go to the career work and finance reading. Even though this could be with career work, okay? But it could be like an ex that you was romantic with who was just, um, who was just into in, um, bad things, basically, okay? Then there's soul truth. Universe, give me one more card. Okay, Princess Charming and Power of My Voice. Okay, Jenna Energy is the power of self-talk. When my self-talk is kinder, I'm empowered in my capacity to pursue my dreams and believe in myself. Okay, then there's soul's truth. I listen to my soul simple truth and allow my life to unfold naturally. Yeah, you probably felt like this person was causing a lot of issues when you guys was together. And I feel like a lot of you guys took that as a sign and you got out. And now some truth is coming out, more truth is coming out about this person. And you're going to be very happy that you got out when you got out. <laughs> okay. Um, I take the horse by the reins and become my own princess charming, taking care of my own needs and empower my voice. I speak my truth and express my feelings to others with care and compassion. Okay. So let's look at career at the career reading. Okay. So for this part of the reading, I'm going to ask specific questions when it comes to your career, work and finance. Okay. And then I'm going to go to my Oracle notes to see um, what else I'm getting. So universe. Give me one card for each question. Universe, how will Gemini finances would be in December 2021? Okay, I got two cards. So I got the lovers and the two, I mean, and the four swords. So I got the lovers and the four of swords. Um, so how will your finances be? I feel like your finances will be okay. Um, but a lot of you guys are thinking about ways of how can you make your finances better okay that's what i'm seeing um i don't feel like you are gonna feel overwhelmed when it comes to bills when it comes to a lot of um, financial things um it just you you're seeing like how can you make your your finances better when it comes to savings budgeting even investing okay it's like you're thinking you're coming up with a plan and see how will work would be universe how will work would be for Gemini for December the hanged man okay so interesting so December might be kind of slower which is interesting because December is usually like very fast paced especially during the holidays if you're in sales so some of you guys are not in sales okay you're in a different type of industry and it might be a little bit slower okay so work might be a little bit slow. You might be bored at work a lot. Okay. Um, universe, what does Gemini need to watch out for at work in December 2021? Nine of Cups. Okay. Don't spend too much money. Okay. Some of you guys feel like you spend too much money. <laughs> okay. Around, especially around Christmas. So. So this could be after the fact. So I feel like this is going to be at the end of December. That's when you're going to start thinking like, damn, I spent too much on this and this and that. So this is just as um, an advice since we're about to be in December. Be mindful of how much you're spending. Okay. Make sure you put alerts on your um, 
on your account too because sometimes you're not gonna you're not even aware of how much you're spending on this and that so basically be more mindful of your spending because i do see that what you need to watch out is the nine of cups which is like wish fulfillment so i feel like in the sense of you buying things that you really want to buy but the universe wants you to kind of like be mindful of that okay universe what can gemini do at work to um exceed okay three of cups in a verse okay also the universe wants you to like probably have a balanced life, you know, have time for family, family and friends, but also like put in more time at work and put in more time at your business if you have your own business. OK, let's just say you traveling a lot um, at work, making sure that you probably do overtime or if you have your own business, making sure that even like when you're traveling, you putting enough time when it comes to your business. OK, Um that's what I'm seeing. So not getting distracted that much, okay? Even though there's holiday season, okay? Gen energy is the five of swords. I feel like this is more about you being more calculated of like how are you going to spend? How are you going to budget? Okay? So let's look at the oracle notes. Let's see what's going on with that. Okay. So, universe, give me a four card spread. Universe, give me three more cards. Universe, give me two more cards. Universe, give me two more cards. Universe, give me one more card. So, Jenna energy is for the introverted Geminis, which is ra which is rare. <laughs> okay, act like you're extrovert. Talk about your business um, to everyone. Your net worth is dependent on your network. Okay, so the universe wants you to talk about your business you know, to the right people, okay? Be more social. And probably you don't need to do that in person, per se. You can do that through social media, okay? Have a much, um, have more presence on your social media for your business, okay? Um, then I got supportive people. Then I got money increasing, okay? Invest more into your business, time, energy, finances, and quality. And then there is allocate more funds. Okay, so I did see that. I see a lot of you guys are going to try to see how you can save more, um, probably how you can invest more. Okay, S especially if you have your own business, how you can invest more into your business so you're so you can have more of an income increase. Okay, so yes, look at family and friends. Let's see what's going on with that. Universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Gemini when it comes to their family and friends in December 2021? Universe, give me two more cards. Universe, give me one more card. A lot of the justice card keep coming out, which is interesting. So some of you guys might have, it's not going to apply to everyone, but some of you guys have a family member who's coming out of jail or prison. Okay. Pisces could be a Pisces, a Scorpio or a Leo family member or friend. Okay. So with family, I feel like there is going to be some form of change. Um, but I feel like the change, this change leads to like more harmony. So some of you guys, um, some of your family members, are moving closer to you or are they trying to um hmm, moving closer to you or you're going back you're moving back to your hometown okay that's what i'm seeing but i feel like it helps with you guys being more in harmony or more in touch okay i do see a change um Okay, probably there was um, a grandparent or a great grandparent that recently passed away, but it's bringing you guys closer. Okay, that's what I'm seeing as well. So I feel like you guys, your family is healing and it's getting more closer. Okay, at this moment, which is great. It's the holiday season, so that's a perfect time for you guys to get closer. Um, now, when it comes to friends, because here it's picking up more family. When it comes to friends, I feel like it's like. Um, Probably there was a friend that probably did you wrong and they want to balance things out with you. Um, I feel like you want to you want to keep your distance, but you are forgiving them for what they did. OK, this friend could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, too. OK, that's what I'm seeing. So I feel like family getting closer. There's one friend that probably did you wrong. 
um, they're asking for your forgiveness. I feel like you're going to forgive them, but you're probably going to keep your distance still. Okay. So that's the reading that I have for you, Gemini. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal read with me at queenfortheterral at gmail.com.